Craig, a real battle at the end, but three valuable points for you on the road today. Yeah, I think obviously the last five or six minutes they come on strong. Obviously, with a lot of long balls into the box, the long throwing, and uh, I think you'd expect that playing a team sort of down at the bottom. Uh, they're going to give it everything right to the end, and uh, just really proud of the players. To be honest with you, to show a lot of resilience, good character to sort of see it out and get the win. Perfect start, 45 seconds, Dom Knowles. Yeah, I thought we played really well, opening 20-25 minutes. Nice to get an early goal, nice to get 2-0 up and we'll play some good football on a difficult pitch. Um, and then obviously their goal just changes the dynamics of the game. Um, and then 2-0, you're thinking, right, this is going to be comfortable now, and then within a minute you, you get pegged back straight away. Well, yeah, I mean, I never think things are going to be comfortable. I think, obviously, like I've just said, that they're down near the bottom and they've got some good players as well, good manager, and uh, they're always going to come at you um, for the full 90 minutes. Um, but I was just disappointed to concede a goal so uh, quickly. Um, like I said, it sort of got their tails up and we, we sort of lacked a bit of confidence then, but um, did well second half still. I felt quite comfortable and um, we had two or three good moments that we could have finished the game with, um, but in the end, just happy to get the win. And presumably that's what people, like people like Scott Garner and Simon Angel for to lead it at the end there and, and get you over the line. Yeah, because they know what this league's about. You don't get any more points or any more praise. Uh, for, so, uh, you know what I mean by winning games by 3 4 0. Um, it's about just winning games, and uh, I think we've done that today. We've been effective in what we had to do. Um, we've bounced back from a disappointing uh, result, which, which is important, and we've done that really well this year. So, uh, just really proud of the players to dig in and, and get what, the result. And Scott Garner did well on his second debut for the club and underline why you brought it back. Yeah, fantastic. Um, straight away in dressing room, leader, talking, um, likeable lad and more importantly, good player on the pitch and uh, fitted in uh, really well. And a good game for him, to be honest with you. He could get his teeth into a lot of defending and uh, saw a lot of grit and, and what some of the lads are about. And a nice selection poser for you. Cheers and you've got Luke Shields back. Yeah, this is what I want. I need Andy back. Um, I, I want I want everybody available because we're going to need everybody. Um, it's going to be a slog this month. Um, no easy games, um, a lot of travelling. So we need as many players available as we can. Um, I think one thing for sure, there'll be no resting as such. Um, every game will be picked on merit um, to win a game of football. Jake Wright and Dale South will both finish today, but you're going to look to try and get things sorted on that front? Yeah, I want to keep them both. Obviously, we've got something agreed with Jake last week, but I think York are changing their mind about that, so we'll have to see on that. Jake wants to stay, so um, I'd love him to stay. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm not sure what York are thinking. And same with Dale, really. I didn't involve him today because um, Halifax are going to let us know. So, um, but we'll see. Two good lads who've done well for us, so um, it'd be nice to keep them both. Back at home on Tuesday, and I presume you want to try and make amends for, for New Year's Day because you acknowledge that wasn't how you want to see your side perform? No, but these things happen and I hope the fans understand that as well. Sometimes they've got to understand that this league is hard and you can get punished and we're not going to play well every week. And I think that's what just disappointed me a little bit in the last game. I think you've got to acknowledge that it's an hard league. Um, what I would like to say is that I thank the fans today for coming. I thought they were fantastic in terms of, I know how much money they spent over the Christmas and uh, to come today uh, were really important and, and I'm glad they've gone home happy. And it'll be a case of managing expectation perhaps because they'll look at Curzon and think they're third bottom. But you look at what good a game Bradford have given you today, don't you, to know that no one's going to roll over for you. Yeah, and I think it was only two weeks ago that Curzon went to Chester and won 1-0 there, so that shows you the more than capable of getting results. Um, I, I have full respect for every team in this league. I've got my eyes firmly wide open in terms of how hard it is week in, week out. I think the main thing that I always try and uh, give now is that when we do have a setback, we come back stronger, and uh, we've done that every single time this season, and uh, we need to just keep doing that. And you're up to sixth. You could go fifth on Tuesday, and you've got a real chance this month to cement that place in, inside the top seven. Yeah, and I think we talked about that as a group this week. We're in a good position. We're just over halfway now through the season, and uh, we're in a good position to kick on. Um, a lot of tough games, but there's an opportunity there for us, and uh, I think the lads deserve to sort of have a few more points. But sometimes you don't get what you deserve in this league, um, and we'll just keep plodding along, see where it takes us. I think you've won half your games. If you maintain that record over the course of the season, you're going to be in the top seven. Yeah, well, these are sort of the aims. Obviously, like I said, there's a long way to go, and uh, it's a cliche, but we've just got to take it a game at a time, week at a time. Injuries, things like that can uh, change the dynamics of your squad. I think we have been missing some players over the last few weeks, and that's told a little bit, and it'd be nice to get some back. And uh, like I said, the, the targets are there for us to see, and uh, we'll, we'll do his best.